airport now to fly to Budokan. Look at Alright, we arrived. Jeez, lots of bags. Look at the double rainbow, that's beautiful. Uh, we gotta go to our hotel now. Just got here and it's beautiful. Okay, we're staying at the Nirvana Beach Resort. Alright, we're here. Hey y'all, we're going to the airport now to fly to Budokan. Woo! We're on the ground floor, ready to go to the airport. You guys ready to go to Budokan? Of course, man. Look how genius this is. So they have these plants and you water the plants with your full water bottles instead of throwing it in the trash. That's genius. That's how to use your water instead of wasting it. Hey, guess what? Nothing went wrong. Cebu Pacific. Um, okay, but we are not in Boracay yet. So I'm a little nervous to even say that because you never know. We could be stuck on the ground for a while, like last time. So uh, until we're in Boracay, then I can probably say nothing went wrong. Who did you find? Who is this? Is this a jelly BB? You trying to give him a high five? Ready? Okay, good high five. Good job, lady. Okay, let's go. Whoa, big lollipops, huh? Gracie and I came to go find some cashews and we cannot find any anywhere in the Cebu airport. I'm just, I can't believe it. Last time we were here, um, in the other airports, there was cashews everywhere. So I was really surprised. That's okay. They have walnuts and peanuts, but no cashews or pecans. But I usually don't see pecans anyway, so I'll just starve. Look how little this plane is. It's even got propellers. It's super windy. Watch this. Pushing it, I was like, What? You see how tall Joe is in here? It's like he's like barely not touching the ceiling, and it's such a small airplane that we couldn't shit our bags under our feet, so we had to put them up overhead, and even overhead, they could barely fit the bags. So the left engine is on and spinning, but the right one is not. So uh, maybe, I'm not really sure though. Yeah, we want to get a video of it, but it's not. Okay, so when I video it like this, can you see how fast the propellers are going? But then when I video it, like, just on it, it looks like it's barely turning. That is crazy. Look, it just looks like it's barely moving. That is the weirdest thing. That is so cool. I don't know how that's happening. Wow. All right, this is so exciting to watch. I just love it. Faster, faster. Blow on it. Oh, that's like weird in the camera. I hear like banging under my feet. That makes me feel uncomfortable. And like vibrating and like boom. Oh. Very soft. 
doesn't sound normal for an airplane. There's no belt, there's nothing, it's just a window for our baggage clay. Look. So what you just saw was basically the extent of the airport. We landed and then we took a bus to this and we're at baggage plane right here. And uh, it is probably the smallest baggage claim I've ever seen. The small. And the building is like, uh, I don't know, not much bigger than your average restaurant. It's quite a small, small airport, but quite an experience. It was beautiful. As we were flying over, you could see again some of the islands and some of the beautiful like ocean underneath. And as we were landing, you could see a few little tiny islands and all those boats. That was awesome. There's all of our bags. Just right there chilling. I'm so glad that I booked on TripAdvisor um, transportation because you have to take like a bus or a van or some sort of transportation from here to the ferry and then ferry to Boracay, the island, and then another transfer to your hotel. So I had no idea how small this airport was. I'm so glad I booked transportation before. Look, we even get these fancy stickers. Whoa. <laughs> nice, right? Sheesh, lots of bags. Oh my gosh, we got under here just in time for that to happen. What? Oh my goodness, once again, I am so glad that I booked transportation before we got here because I have no idea how we would have navigated this without, I mean, I'm sure we could have figured it out, but like, this is making it so much easier. <laughs> Oh man. It's a wow. double rainbow. Look at the double rainbow. That's beautiful. Look at this. All right, now we are taking a ferry. Um, so once you get to the airport, you need to catch a ride to get to the ferry. And then once you're at the ferry, then, um, then you catch another ride to your hotel. So we are at the ferry portion of our travels. Okay, so this boat 
is our boat and we got a lot of stuff to bring on. get off the boat first before we get off because we have so much luggage and lots of little people. Uh, we gotta go to our hotel now so we can go get some food. Anytime we have to deal with our luggage it is it is a fiasco of fun but we're grateful that we all just do it and we all just pitch in and don't make a big fuss about so much luggage. <laughs> oh gosh. Just got here and it's beautiful and it smells amazing. It's like a sweet barbecue smell. <laughs> and uh, I'm bleeding. Why? So getting out, I smacked the side because I was carrying so much. I had like two suitcases and like a bag on top of it. And it was so heavy. And then I banged my elbow on the side, and I just noticed it's bleeding, so I have blood all over my hands. Yummy. The hard part too, is that because we've been traveling so much and our bags aren't the highest of quality, so many of the wheels have fallen off, so you can't just roll them. You have to carry them, so it's quite the pain. Oh my gosh, such an adventure. I don't, I don't even know if we can see all the bags. We're stuffed yeah. in here like so much stuff. <laughs> Again, I don't, I don't know how you can pack for seven people with children. I don't know. I don't know how to pack it lighter. Like I seriously, like once these two little ones are older, so much easier. But as of right now, like I, I don't even know how we can do it. But okay, we are on our way now to Nirvana Beach Resort. We're gonna feel some Nirvana tonight. <laughs> okay, we're staying at the Nirvana Beach Resort. So we are here, we are checking in, we got all of our stuff. We're gonna go find the villa that we're staying in. Um, the nice thing about this place is they have like villas so we can all stay together. Um, the reason also I chose this place is because most of the, the hotels here we would have had to get two to three rooms um, and that just was too expensive to get like if we only needed one maybe two rooms then it, it would have been totally doable but because we needed most likely three rooms it just didn't it just it was just too expensive so that's another reason why we chose this place and it had good reviews so we'll see hopefully it's nice all right we're here this is our place we need another bed probably for you and mom two bed there okay so we got two people in here and then we have and then uh, four people can sleep in here four in here Two, four, six. Then we need. Then somebody, somebody can be on the couch if we have bedding. I'm so happy that there's an air conditioner. 